What's up everyone, it's Phoenix here, and I have been getting so many questions about how to buy, store, and stake Tau. Of course, it is still the early days here and it's not listed on tier one exchanges yet. And so I'm going to share with you the simplest way to do that for many of you. I will also give three additional options for buying Tau in a decentralized way. For those that are curious about that, that's a little bit later in the video. So starting out, let me preface this by saying that the wallet that is attached to Bitenser.com. It's a good wallet. It's a great wallet, aesthetically speaking. You can download it here simply by going to the website, clicking through the links, add it to Brave. It's a great wallet. The only problem is that it is a software wallet. So if you're doing shady things on your computer, you're following the wrong links, or you're signing off transactions, you can get hacked, you can get phished. Well, of course that can happen with a hardware wallet too, but you can get hacked. So you wanna be aware of this. And if you wanna be, for those of you that are more uh, security savvy and you wanna do the hardware solution, it is a little bit more technical, but I did create a video for that and I will link to that as well. Um, but this is just the easiest version, okay? And nine times out of 10, I would say 99% of the time or more, you're gonna be completely safe using this, okay? As long as you're not doing crazy things on the computer. And that's also why it's helpful to have a dedicated computer just for your crypto transactions. So go ahead and download the wallet. And then you wanna sign up with MEXC, okay? I have a link in the description. It helps me, it helps you, you get some bonuses. Uh, there are other exchanges where this can be purchased right now, but you see the volume is the highest on MEXC. And what that means is that the spread is going to be the lowest, okay? We want a low spread because then we can fill our orders and get good prices, okay? So that's why I'm using MEXC right now. And if you are in the US, yes, you can use MEXC without KYC. I use a VPN on the desktop version. The mobile version, you don't actually have to do that. I don't know if you have to do that for either, but it's just an added measure, okay? Um, unfortunately, we're not able to KYC yet. Hopefully that will happen in the near future. Once you've created the account, of course, obviously the first thing you need to do is load it with some USDT and or Ethereum or whatever it is that you're sending over either from another exchange or from your a, a hardware wallet or something like that. You can't load fiat directly on MEXC, at least not yet. And so just be aware of that. Maybe I use Kraken or Gemini, Coinbase for some, but then there are restrictions on how soon you can send money over. So just be aware of all of that. Wires usually go through quicker and can be sent off the exchange to MEXC faster. So uh, I pulled up BitTensor. It's good to star it here. You can see we have our order books. Uh, market order is not such a good idea with this because it will fill it at the highest possible price. So I'm gonna do an order for, and I believe this is a great price for uh, for Tau. So I'm gonna put in a limit order, not a market order, and I'm going to be buying it, not selling it. Let's see if we can get it for 585.02 or 03. Okay, I'm gonna buy Tau. I'm gonna put in the order, and that order is gonna be an open order. So now this open order has completely disappeared. Congratulations, it means the limit order went through. It was completely filled to 100%. Okay, now the price has dropped a little bit lower, but not a big deal. Okay, so now we're gonna go to wallets, withdraw, and it's gonna pull up this page here. And I'm going to choose Tau. And the first time you do this, it's telling you, this is the token, this is the network. Okay, got it. You wanna to go to manage addresses. And then what you wanna do is go into your Tau wallet, newly created with the seed phrase stored. It's a 12 word seed phrase, store it somewhere safely. Go to receive, copy this. This is the address you'll paste when you go to manage addresses. Now I have a whitelist uh, enabled. So you see this withdrawal whitelist has been enabled. Only addresses that I've whitelisted can be sent to. And that means that it's stored on the exchange. And every time I wanna use it, I can just click it and I don't have to add it over and over again. So it's foolproof in that sense. Also, I've enabled fast withdrawal, which means that up to $1,500, if it's a whitelisted address, I can send at one time. So if you're DCAing, this is a great option and you wanna go into the security settings if you wanna change this. So I'm gonna choose a whitelisted address here and I am going to, it's already by default on the Tau 
network here. Always make sure of that. And we are going to send this over, okay? The fee is 0 0.01 tau. That's about $6, I, I believe. You don't need to put any remarks. That's optional. And then I'm going to go ahead and submit this. You can double check it. This is always a good idea to double and triple check. And the way to check it is actually just, you check the first four or five alphanumeric characters and then the last four and or five, okay? First five, five E-R-X-S-A-U-D. Yep, and that checks out, okay? So now I'm gonna go ahead and do a fast withdrawal. And you can track the status, of course, if you'd like. As always, if you're really not sure about what you're doing if, or if you haven't done this before, just do a small amount. Do the minimum amount, maybe $10 worth, just as a test, and then send the rest. But definitely whitelist it first. That way you know, okay, I sent a small amount. That address is legit. It's all good. Now I can do the entire amount, okay? And also keep in mind that oftentimes the withdrawal completed won't appear right away on MEXC. It usually you'll get an email, but that's usually after the fact. So if I go ahead and check the wallet now, that balance should appear. It doesn't take more than usually two or three minutes for the full balance to appear. And you can see it here, okay? So now the next step is for those of you that would like to stake it. Now, some of you are just gonna stay at this, at this point, but with 16% APR on staking, uh, it's kind of a no brainer, don't you think? I would say so. So we're gonna go ahead and connect our wallet now. Actually, on second thought, we don't need to connect the wallet here. That's only if you're using a hardware wallet. You can stake it simply uh, by clicking on the wallet link here, the icon up top, and then hit stake. And then you can select a delegator. Okay, so this is actually, uh, you can see how many nominators there are. You can see what the daily rewards are. The daily rewards isn't gonna give you an indication. It's not necessarily better than the others. It's just that there's less nominators. So there's less rewards that are split among them. So they're all about the same. Um, it's just that some people prefer to delegate to those that have more, uh, that are more established. And so the ones up top are more established. So we're just gonna do Tau Stats in Corsol. And then we're gonna choose Stake and you can choose any amount. Since this is just a demo account, I'm just gonna do a very small stake here. Like, let's see if it'll let me do that. Yep, about $30 worth and continue. It's asking for my password, which you set up when you create the wallet. Okay, continue. And stake. And of course, 90% of Tau holders are staking. And so obviously the conviction is very high. This is more for long-term hodlers that don't plan to sell anytime soon. So now I'm back in my account and you can see if you go to the stake, it's 0 0.05. If you go to free, it shows 0.37. So this is available to be staked or to be moved back to the exchange to be sold if you so choose, okay? And if you wanna unstake, you just go to the stake and you choose the delegator that you delegated to and then unstake the amount will show up and you'll transmit it in the same way. So the fees are very low. This is by far the simplest process for buying Tau, storing it and staking it. Now, some of you are already on chain. You already have Ethereum maybe in uh, MetaMask or it's stored on a hardware wallet or something like that. Uh, the best option in that case, there's a couple of options. The first is to buy Wrap Tau. Now Wrap Tau it tracks the price of Tau. It's the same, it is Tau, but it's wrapped so that it can be made available on the ETH network. Now, I'm not a big fan of Ethereum. Of course, it's 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 pretty insane as far as the fees are concerned. And also the price does tend to bounce around, which I've seen wrapped Tau actually go much higher than the price of Tau at times. At right now, it's still higher, but not by much. Sometimes it goes much lower, so it tends to oscillate more. Uh, but the volume, you can see it's 1.6 million in the last 24 hours. It is safe to trade this. It's just be aware that there will be more volatility and also that you won't be able to stake this. So you can buy it on Uniswap just by selecting Wrap Tau, okay? And then you just choose the amount and make the swap. 
Okay, so that's a simple way to do it for those that don't want to go on the exchanges, but there are higher fees, generally speaking, using Ethereum, and you don't have the, the advantage of the option to stake. Okay, so that's that. The other option, which is decentralized and you can still stake, is to use RocketX Exchange. Now, how did I find this? Let me let me be very clear about this because if you click the wrong link, if you click a Google search for something like this, you can end up losing a lot of money to a phishing scam, okay? So I found this on Twitter and I clicked this link directly. Notice the followers, notice it's the legitimate account for them, okay? Be very aware, mindful of all of these things, please, Anon, because I don't want you to lose any money. So we're using app.rocketx.exchange, okay? Now, I haven't personally used this mainly because I'm happy with MEXC and in some cases Uniswap, but I'm happy with MEXC and also because there is a little bit of a price discrepancy here. So you can see that they're actually very transparent about it. You can use different networks, which is nice. So I can, my source network can be BNB, Polygon, all of these here, given that there's liquidity, which I'm not sure how much there is on the other networks. Ethereum seems to have the most liquidity, but all you basically are doing is taking your Tau address again from here, copying it, pasting it into the recipient address, and then you're connecting your MetaMask, or in my case, I use Orion wallet that's linked to hardware, hopefully, and then you are choosing the amount and making the trade. And it's telling you what you say, but actually there is a difference here. In this case, it's not so bad. 0.7% is what you lose by buying it here versus on MEXC. And there's a platform fee uh, without a discount here. So you can do the swap and then it will send it after you've done that, You can, it will send it straight to your wallet. So this is a very simple way. And again, try it with a small amount first if you're not trusting this. Try it with a very small amount and see how it see how it works. See if it goes through. See if it's to your liking. Okay. So that's the third option. The fourth option is for the Bitcoin maxis out there using BitTensor Exchange. You have to create an account, and it's kind of like a contract where you place Bitcoin or Tau, depending if you're buying or selling. You place Bitcoin or Tau in a locked contract, and then once the deal is agreed on between the buyer and seller, the exchange is made. But for whatever reason, it's not letting me pull this up right now. So you can see the buy orders and the sell orders. Uh, so here people are trying to sell it and they want to sell. This person's trying to sell nine for 610. This person's trying to buy 50 of them for 555. A lot of whales actually seem to be using this. And it makes sense because they don't ever have to use any other exchange. The question is, do you trust do you trust Bitenser Exchange? They tell us that they're not affiliated directly with Bitenser. Um, it's a remote company, full crypto, full stack devs. I've heard many people have had no problems with this, uh, but I can't vouch for it personally because I haven't used it. If I were just dealing in Bitcoin and wanted to use some of that to purchase Bitenser, then I would definitely give it a shot. Uh, but I would start small again. But it seems like there's some confidence here because some of these folks, this person is trying to, <laughs> well, they want to buy... $141. They want to buy it at $141. It, it can't hurt to place a limit order this low in case there is a flash crash, right? Uh, but very unlikely that that will fail. But still, someone's willing to put in 76 k worth of Bitcoin in a locked contract, uh, then there must be some reputability here to this to this exchange. So it's bittensor.exchange. And that's pretty much it. It's really not that complicated. So you have four options here. Uh, you don't have to use this wallet if you're not comfortable with the uh, software. Again, check out my hardware wallet video. It uses Polkadot.js paired with a Polkadot Vault, which the Polkadot Vault you load up on a, an old phone and you just use it for that vault in it's in air gapped mode. So you create your own hardware wallet effectively and then you can go to delegate uh, .tau. So you go here delegate.taustats.io and then you can stake it okay so i hope that you found value in this video please share some love give me some likes 
feel free to ask other questions if you're trying to figure out other aspects of Tau. Uh, there are more videos that are in the pipeline for Tau because it seems to be a hot topic and it's actually something that I believe in and I feel is going to go places. So um, if you want to support my work, of course, there's my book, Smart Money's Crypto Handbook, and I do have some courses out there for traders and about finding some DeFi gems. And actually, that's how I started to find out about Tau. <laughs> so uh, I hope that you enjoy this video and have a beautiful rest of your day. Mm -hmm.